gonna tell me where you went All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot, it's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know this is a general reading, it will not resonate with each and every star, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising and your Venus. Also the energies or the roles in my readings may be reversed or interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget if this reading does resonate, don't don't forget to support your girl by clicking like, share, subscribe, and clicking the all option when you click the bell so you can be notified when I upload another reading or when I go live. This reading will have an extended to access the extended. There will be two links in the description box below. One is a membership option and one is a one-time access payment option. So you can check those out if you like. All right, let's get into this reading. This is going to be Soulmates, Twin Flames, and Separation. So let's see. What is the energy here between Aquarius and the person they are connecting with on a soul level? What is the energy here between Aquarius and the person they are connecting with on a soul level? What is the past energy of this connection? What is the past energy of this connection? All right, so you have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so we have the Everything is Fine card, with the ten of, which is the Ten of Swords. This energy speaks of betrayal. This speaks of painful endings. This speaks of hitting rock bottom in the connection. So I do feel like something happened here or transpired that may have made you feel or may have made them feel like they were betrayed or you were betrayed in the situation. Like this person was not upfront with you about something or somebody did something behind your back that could have caused you to feel some type of way about it. So let's see what else is coming through. Why this energy? Ooh, <laughs> the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Swords. There's a lot of hurt here. Okay, 10 and 10, this speaks of cycles closing out between the two of you, but you guys left on bad terms. So the energy I feel is like a connection where you guys didn't end on good terms. It was more like, you know, I'm walking away from this. I don't want to talk to you ever again. I'm blocking you. This is, you know, it was one of those kind of endings. So I do believe that something major transpired here. And I do believe that this was a situation where you may have given this person chance after chance after chance. And every time this person has either betrayed you or failed you or made you feel like you could not trust them at the end of the day. So let's see what the next card presents yeah look at this queen of swords in the reverse so the queen of swords in the reverse is an energy that speaks of someone here who is dishonest this also speaks of someone a very dysfunctional relationship it also speaks of manipulation someone here who is very unforgiven not willing to forgive the person because this person just you know was not truthful with you this person was not upfront with you about something here so there's a very harsh energy that is surrounding the past and I do believe it's a lot to do with someone here having lack of empathy for the situation or as far as your feelings goes very poor communication in the in the connection between the two of you just not seeing eye to eye so a very dysfunctional situation ship is what I'm seeing I'm going to go ahead and be dareful and get another card yeah knight of swords in the reverse all right so this energy is all about someone here who's taken advantage of a situation it speaks of things getting out of control aggressive energy abusive energy is what i'm seeing here could even have been some criminal activities here with this knight of swords in the reverse but i do believe there was a lot of hurt here a lot has transpired in this connection someone may have pretended that they were okay with it at first or at least try to shove it under the rug like okay i could get over this but in time it became a situation that you felt like you could not just overlook anymore all right so let's see let's move forward aquarius because this is getting deep this is getting deep already all right so let's tap into the energy of how do you feel about this connection or your person presently how does aquarius feel about this connection or their person presently how does aquarius feel about this connection 
All right, thank you. We got some cards flipping. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse with the World card in the reverse. A lot of reversed energy, guys, okay? So this Ace of Swords energy in the reverse speaks of, you know, being stressed out, mental blocks, using poor judgment. It speaks of dishonesty in a connection as well, especially with the World card compared with it in the reverse speaks of, you know, feeling disappointed overall. So what I'm seeing here, Aquarius, this is someone here who you may not want to fresh start with or you may be feeling like you can't trust this person okay this is someone here who stresses you out due to lack of honesty here okay and i do believe that this is someone here that you may be feeling a little bit upset with as well at this time all right this energy also speaks of stagnating energy can't seem to close out this cycle with this person or still hanging on to it because of the fact how this person may have treated you all right you're you're having a difficulty overcoming it because because of the events that took place let's get one more card yeah so we have the three of wands here as well so it's telling me it's almost as if you're waiting for something else like you're waiting for something better to take place or you're waiting for this person it's waiting energy so i do believe for some of you here you're waiting for the next best thing for some of you here you may be waiting for something from this person whether closure apology whatever the case may be let's get another card to clarify yeah you're waiting for something just like I said, you're waiting for something. Page of Cups speaks of good news, letters, texts, calls, emails, or waiting for something to take place here. So I do believe you're waiting for something to happen, whether it's a new relationship or new love to come in towards you or waiting for this person to pop up and give you some type of apology or show some type of remorse or regret here towards how they treated you in the connection. All right, so let's see how this person is feeling about you. What is the energy of Aquarius person they are dealing with? with what is the energy here for Aquarius person they are dealing with what is the energy here for Aquarius person they are dealing with all right we have the four of wands let's see why this is here with the three of cups in the reverse so the three of cups in the reverse is an energy that speaks of someone here not being honest with you completely it speaks of breakups it speaks of separation this interest in the connection it also speaks of arguments and you know just not getting along so gossips affairs you know too much partying this person not showing you support in the situation is what i'm seeing okay this could have caused a breakup in the home between the two of you here with the four of wands the two of cups also showed up here as well let's see why yep knight of cups this is someone here who breaks a lot of promises with you the knight of cups in the reverse speaks of unrequited love which means a one-sided relationship okay so this is a heartbreaker this is someone who brought deception into the home you know one night stand energy you know this speaks of someone here breaking promises may have promised you the world here but then took those promises back with infidelity or just not being fair to you in the connection and not standing on the two feet they came in towards you with so the four wands and the two of cups is what is showing me here is what they promised you they promised you the happy home they promised you you'll be together they promised you you guys will be this happy couple or this blissful couple and it turned out not so much with the three of cups and the knight of cups in the reverse okay so let's go ahead and see what messages is needed to bring further clarity to this person or what what messages is needed to bring further clarity to the person this message is intended for so let's see what is the energy here what is the energy here for aquarius let's see thank you all right so we have the chariot in the reverse we have the nine of cups in the reverse with the queen of wands all right so with the chariot being in the reverse it speaks of things getting out of control in the situation you know lack of self-control or lack of direction like not knowing what to do from here or not knowing how to move forward if i may say so okay so i do believe someone here may be giving up because there's disappointing energy the nine of cups in the reverse speaks of being disappointed in the situation you know because this person didn't make you happy at the end of the day it was a situation that 
did it make you feel content all right with the queen of wands i feel like this is your energy aquarius like it's almost as if you're bossing up okay the queen of wands is someone here who is very assertive vivacious very confident taking charge of their own destiny very independent type of energy nurturing new and better things but most importantly this is a bad bitch okay this is someone here who's very sensual you know who's on top of their game know their worth at the end of the day so i'm seeing you stepping in to this very vivacious energy and i'm loving it aquarius and it's all due to the fact of being disappointed in the situation and i feel like with this chariot in the reverse it's telling me here you're just giving up on this situation or you for some of you here you may be feeling blocked you know like this is an obstacle that's keeping you from moving forward so let's get one more let's get one more energy yeah, two of wands. This is about you trying to move forward here, planning your future, making plans for better opportunities here with this two of wands energy. And it's all due to disappointment at the end of the day. For some of you here, I feel like you're just making important decisions right now in your life that is going to help you, okay, move forward. So I'm loving this energy, Aquarius, that is surrounding you. Let's go ahead and get some further messages. What would this person tell you if they could? Let's see. How is this person's energy? This person could be wanting to connect with you here again too as well because we did have the four of wands in the upright and the two of cups show up here as well. All right, in the upright. So let's see what's in this person's energy. What's the energy here for the person Aquarius is connecting with? What is the energy here for the person Aquarius is connection, connecting with? We are going to find out in the extended, guys, does your person have any regrets and want to come back or have they moved on? We're also going to find out what's holding your person back and or what's being hidden. We're going to find out what are the possible future steps they may take towards you and this connection, the long-term outcome of this connection, what is next for you outside of this connection, and any messages from your spirit guides and spirit angels. So let's see. What is the energy here of this person? Thank you. All right. So we have searching partner's phone. So in this connection, there was searching of phones. This may be how you found out or they found out. Take it as it resonates. Roles can be reversed. But somebody found out that this person was not honest with them, having affairs, being untruthful with you through some type of phone message or maybe even seeing pictures in a person's phone that shouldn't be there. But someone was snooping, all right? Someone was snoop dog in the situation and was doing the snoop snoop to find out information because they felt like they couldn't trust they do thing. So let's see what else comes through here. What else is going to bring further clarity to this situation? What else is here? Let's see. What's the energy here for this connection? Thank you. We have, I lied to you. Okay, so this person definitely wasn't honest with you, okay? The I lied to you card is finding out this person was not upfront with you about something here. Finding out some truths that were revealed in the situation, this person could be wanting to come back in and tell you some truths here as well. We have money issues, so money it could have been a factor here in this connection, Okay, maybe someone here was giving to the other person because we do have the unrequited love energy with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Speaking of a one-sided relationship, so someone could have been giving more to the relationship than the other person, could have been even financially here as well. We also have rejection as well. So this person could be feeling rejected by you or you're feeling rejected by them. All right, is what is coming through here. But I do believe that this situation brought about a lot of emotions because we have unfaithfulness we have someone here who couldn't keep their promises to you we have searching of the phone which means the trust was out the window we have a lie to you so lying energy surrounding this connection being rejected here so someone could have blocked the other person and then again money issues on top of it so there was a lot going on in this connection is what i'm seeing nonetheless guys we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into this energy in the extended i will see those of you there till next time bye <music> I guess you're back Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply